Hey everybody, it's Dave here. I want to show you this cool SOP called the Switch SOP. Let me describe it to you by throwing down some objects. By the way, in case you're not cl uh, sure how this Houdini thing works, what I'm going to do first is create a geometry node. And this is in the scene node. I'm going to type in Switch Demo. Oops, get rid of that part here. If I could spell better. Okay, got that. Now if I dive in, I'm on the geometry level. However, I don't need this file node. So what I am is clear to go into here. So what I'm going to do is make a platonic solid. Change this thing to a soccer ball. And then let me create a grid. And I'll copy a few things to the grid. And down here, let me create a mountain. Put that down here. And what that'll do, it'll adjust the grid. Then down here, I want to use a scatter. And this will scatter whatever amount of points on the grid. Here I'll use 50. So if we show that, we'll have the points on there if we display those. Now I want to do a copy. I want to copy this platonic solid onto this copy. And let me go back into here. So what I've got using this scatter and also if I adjust the mountain maybe to three we have these at different locations that's great but what if we want to change the objects so I'll put in another platonic solid throw that down here make this a Utah teapot and here's where switch comes in handy I'm gonna throw in a switch let me copy that to here let me copy this to here and I'll send this into that node. Now what we have here, if you look at the switch, we have 0 and 1. Now the trick is how do we use this switch to pick the different items? In fact I'll add yet another platonic solid in here. This one will make it a dodecahedron, that looks fine. Let me merge that into switch. So now with the switch, we have this one, this one, and this one. These three. Now, how would we get these things to switch? Uh, most likely, how would we put a variable in here that's random? Well, we'll go back to the copy shop, scroll down into stamp, and I'll click stamp inputs. And I'll say pick. And this thing will be a rand of the particular point. I'll multiply this by 3. Try that out. And when I go back into switch, I will now use that pick thing. So let's go stamp, slash, I'm going to use the copy, oops, copy 1. Pick is the name. And if nothing matches, we'll just put a 0. Okay, so look what we have here. We now have a variety of items. I think I'll scale the soccer ball down. Scale this one down. And as you can see, we now have random objects, three of them, scattered along this grid, which has a mountain on it. And the mountain I could adjust. Scale that up and down. And then it has the scatter. Scatter we could turn up to 100, make some more objects. And that is it. Using switch tool, mountain, scatter, and copy sops. That'll be it for today.